Martha Hughes Cannon, or Maddie, broke boundaries here 125 years ago as the first female elected to a state Senate in the U.S. She fought tirelessly for women's right to vote, so it's only fitting that a statue to honor Maddie stand tall in our nation's capital, and a Utah artist is bringing Maddie to life. This is Dr. Martha Hughes Cannon. She's a Welsh immigrant who settled here in Utah as a young lady. And, and the thing that stuck out to me about Dr. Cannon here is that she was the first ever woman that was elected to the office of state senator in the United States. And uh, she ran against her husband. And that just was like a little detail that just kind of stuck out to me. I'm like, well, that's interesting. You know, that's kind of cool. And then as I got to know more about her, that she, you know, was a medical professional, she was a suffragist, she was an orator. I was just really impressed with her. The primary reason why I'm here working on this right now is because there's been a push, thanks to primarily Better Days 2020, to have more equal representation of prominent women in the history of the United States represented in, in statues, not only in Statuary Hall in DC, but um, all over the country. I think she's a better representation of, you know, Utah as a whole, hardworking, industrious, and problem solving. That's just the type of person she was. And so I think it's really cool that we have her representing our state, our people. I always wanted to be an artist. I didn't know I wanted to be a sculptor until in high school, my senior year, I went to an artist studio, Blair Buswell. So he took us to a foundry and it just blew me away, like all the work that went into it. So growing up on a farm in Idaho, growing up building homes with my dad, I just love the process. Every time I go to the foundry, if they're pouring bronze, I'll stop what I'm doing and go and watch them do it, even though I've seen it a hundred times. It's just, it never gets old. So I'm watching these guys dressed in these silver protective suits, dipping this big glowing red crucible of molten bronze. And when it comes out, it's as viscous as water. If you melt it at that melting point, it's just like, it'll fill in all these cracks and then they literally just like take a hammer and start pounding on it after the bronze cools and break the shell off. And it's so cool because the bronze has, you can see fingerprints and thumbprints, like that's how much detail it captures. Here's like the bottom of her dress, the base. And these are sections of her dress. These are fitting really, really well though, you can see. Utah County is an interesting place. It's, it, it's not only full of sculptors, it's full of artists. This is one of the most interesting things about being a sculptor, casting things in bronze. It's something that I don't have a lot of control over. I leave it up to a talented artisan to put the pieces together. Overall, I look at this thing and I'm just really, really happy with uh, the direction it's going. And that there looks just go. really good. Sculptors specifically come here because Utah County happens to be a place where there's four large fine art foundries that cast in bronze. And you don't find that anywhere else. Which is also cool because the statue of Martha isn't just sculpted by me, it's also cast in bronze here in Utah, worked on by people that live here. In fact, even the bronze that she'll be cast in, they're using copper from Utah, it's cool. She'll have a part of Utah in her. For me, she's, she represents my heritage as well as the heritage for many people who live here in this state. I'm also a descendant of, of people that came from other countries and because of uh, their 
religious affiliation. They moved here to what, what they called Zion and wanted to settle here and make this a, a beautiful place. From the outside looking in, people can see faith as a hindrance to success almost, like you have to compromise your faith in order to succeed. And she wasn't successful in spite of her faith. She was successful and driven because of her faith, because she thought and believed that there's a lot more to life than just the status quo, that you can rise above your station. And we should make life easier for people so more people can better their lives. And it ended up being that it did better our lives healthcare-wise, economically, and made life better for women to have more of a voice, not only in Utah, but in, in the nation. Women could vote in Utah before anywhere else. We just celebrated the 150th year of women voting in Utah. I, I love that Utah had somebody as far back as we did. We've had strong, influential women early on in our history, so that's cool. This statue will go to Washington, D.C., the U.S. Capitol and Statuary Hall. To me, that's a little overwhelming artistically just because some of the artists I admire most have artwork there. There's the emotional side of it about who she is and what it represents as Martha Hughes Cannon, what she has meant to the state and what she continues to inspire. And that's overwhelming enough. But at the same time, I know Maddie belongs there. I hope I've created something that's excellent enough that the artistic integrity belongs there as well.